content to client boot camp we are excited it has been i was just telling chad <laughs> i don't even feel like this has been like a training or a webinar like i feel like we've become like it's it's been a group and i'm like we're we're fan, like friends clients family like i've had the best time this week and i hope that you've gotten so much out of this i've loved hearing the discoveries that you've gotten and today is really we're really out for more discovery, right? Because we've got the content, we have an idea of like, okay, these, this is how, this is how we tap into our message. This is how we can use AI to over this get all sorts of different ideas. So now it's like, how do we tie this all together? Mm -hmm. That neism. So who here <laughs> knows that like you can throw out so much content and you can have so much going on, but if you don't have a system and a process to back it up, it can be pretty much useless. Like it, it's like, um, I keep on seeing the, the, the spaghetti thrown at the wall. Like the, it's, we, we did this. We actually, we made a video. I don't think we ever used it, but we, we made it's spaghetti like somewhere. and we threw it at the wall and we talked about, a lot of coaches are just trying different things. Now you have one component. Um, we had a client, uh, John, and John um, came into our program. This guy was the master at building an audience and attracting uh, a community, right? He was, um, he could create like amazing culture and he could put together a group of like he's a thousand still, people. He's putting he's together still putting thing right now like he does one post and he can literally fill a group of, with like hundreds if not thousands with one post like dude yep. has a gift here yeah and when he came to us he couldn't sell his like thousand dollar program to save his life okay. and um and I remember actually well there was a couple of things one of the things was there was some money stuff he is a a Buddhist monk. And, and I think some stuff got put in there of like money's bad. And so we had to work through all of that. Um, anybody want to acknowledge that you've had some, uh, some money? Yes. There you go. Um, stuff going on. Um, and, but the other thing was, is he didn't have the process. He didn't have an offer. He didn't have the enrollment. So um, let's take everybody down to like really take a good look at like where you're still need, you know, you need the rest of it, right? Is it, We're going to take a look and we're going to bring out the model again. Actually be in discovery of what's, what's the missing for you. But before we do that, can we, so I left you guys with an assignment last night. Oh, yes. And uh, to go and post and make a post, I'm curious, did any of you guys do the post and did you see you any go? movement anything positive any wins was there a glow stick movement mm, i got a heart from some guy i don't even know hmm. okay there you go got it sometimes they're not a hit and you just got to keep on rolling and, and do something new, right? What's the next thing that is going to like, and this is, if there's one thing that this, this uh, boot camp can instill in everyone here is that this is not a hundred percent like win every time it's a, we're going to test, we're going to try something new. It's just like the AI, just using chat GPT. It's the same thing with our marketing. We don't know. I can tell you what's going to be better than like looking at two posts and I go, yeah, that's going to be better. And that's not going to be probably going to be effective at all. But ultimately your people will tell you what is going to work and whatnot. And it's really a, a test. 
So Anthony, you got something? Yeah, I had actually <clears throat> 10 people share it and oh. a couple of, and, and there was like one like share and glowing endorsement, which oh, wow. was like, which was like really beautiful. And then I had one person reach out to me um, about getting her friend who was just diagnosed involved in the program. Wow. Yeah. That's, that's awesome. Yeah. There you go, man. That That's when, when you know you hit, like that happens. I mean, yeah. I, I don't think I've ever had a sh one of those posts shared. So uh, <laughs> that you, you beat us. Uh, <laughs> that was a soul post. No? That was a soul post. Absolutely. Yeah. Soul post for the way. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's not on your wall. Weird. Um, did it get any engagement when it was there? That is weird. Yeah, if it doesn't get any, sometimes they'll get beat, like, like put down it. on your wall. I did not see any. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Facebook is out conspiring against you, obviously. Um, so we had another client. And or and keep doing that. Not all the time, right? Doing this post all the time will get, that's how you will get people to stop looking at you actually. Mm. So you don't want to do this all the time, but you do want to include it in your content strategy. You want to open up the invitation. So if you didn't get anything this time around, don't make it mean like, don't make it mean anything except for, okay, that's not what they wanted. CC, do you have a what Facebook can group? I get, how can oh. I get a look? What's another thing that I can put out there and just test a different, a color, uh, another angle. Yeah. Um, yeah, I I would have had something for you if you had a Facebooker, but um, that's a it's definitely something you want to look at. So um, another client we had uh, was somebody named Kelly, and she came to us. Uh, she lives in Sweden, and she's a relationship coach. And she had so many people coming to her to wanting to work with her that uh, she had a wait list, a significant wait list. And um, the, so she had this attraction thing down, but she was also working 90 hours a week. And she was like pretty much on the verge of burnout uh, to the point where after we worked with her, not only, so we, we got her, so her, her income was like, not, like, okay, right? She was doing like eight to $15,000 a month, but 90 hours a week, not really worth it when you're about to like, your, no, your your health is no money in the world i'm telling you now that it matters it doesn't matter but after a month or two of working with us she got up to 20 was it 21 and twenty five thousand dollars a month mm -hmm. but working 30 hours a week um and we just tweaked one thing and that's creating that evergreen signature program which we'll we'll talk about here in a little bit but this is the thing it's like she had the attraction down so if you get the content game which she did she had this process down really well for the attraction but she did not have the uh the program and the offer that worked for her um the cool thing is after and then there was another thing there was a block um and you can maybe talk about this way because you did a, a energetics call with her and well, i'm like a block maybe just out of alignment out of alignment okay. so part of the work that i do and in in our first phase of her program is all about you and moving into your gifts and your alignment and so you are in your fullest self and as your business starts collecting dollars and clients it becomes starts becoming its own energetic entity so with our phase two clients what we do is i go through every quarter we go through their business and we go through now that it's the business has its own energetics i go everything from their program the offer the marketing the sales the contributors uh the systems but we go through the entire business and so let's say your financial input or income intention is fifty thousand. well there's something in the business that is not aligned to it making 50,000. So what part of the business is not aligned and then which part, what do we need to adjust? So mm -hmm. that's part of the work that I do in our phase two. And so that was the work that we did. So we made some shifts in her marketing and her sales process and in her program so that it didn't take so much of her, but it still made a big impact. Uh, there was a few decisions where she was like, Oh, she was working with somebody she else. Was, yeah. And it didn't work out. And then she had another thing and we went oh. through to see if it was aligned and it was, so we made some adjustments and I want to say like we got to 30 K the no. first time. And then we went to 50. 
Yeah. So we've been working with her for a bit. Yeah. So two months after Hallie worked with, so she got to 30 and then I remember she dipped down a little bit and she was like, I just want to be at a consistent 20 or whatever. She came and- back on that session and I'm like, no, I'm sorry. Like that's too low. <laughs> When we need to shoot higher for 50. And so we did some work. She got a plate of action. She did that. She came back a few months later with this grin, been like beaming, like you'll never believe it. Like I did it. Well, the other thing was that she went on like two vacations, she did. like to like to go uh, ski or something. And like, she was like all off, like not in having her fun. business, having fun. She was in her business. Okay. She was in her, she was in the business. Working subconsciously. Come on. Sure, sure, sure. The having the fun. <laughs> so who's interested in working less, making way more money and having way more fun? That's like what really our uh, phase two is about. In our yeah. We're uh, we're designing a bathing suit or something because everybody takes more trips and has more fun when they get to phase two. Mm-hmm. So let's get in and uh, kind of just do some um, assessing in your business and where you're at. Everybody down? Does that work for you? You guys can just kind of do a deep dive. Which area is it, right? Because here's the thing, you know, we've had a an incredible time. You've learned a lot over the last four days around content, you know what? And there's going to be another training somewhere else on something else and another training on something else. And there's all of this stuff everywhere, right? I would rather, I mean, this is your business and you can totally go to, you know, if you have free will, you can do whatever you want. And Let's pinpoint what areas specifically you need to focus on in your business so you can focus your time on the areas that are going to make you more money. Is that okay with everybody? Okay. All right. So we mapped this out. We shared the story of how this was created initially. So ultimately, you know, as coaches, we're really out for this life of abundance, right? We're building this, this life online, this business online, this business that's giving us freedom. We're able to make an impact, a deep impact with people and also bring in the profit that we need to be able to have this abundant life. In order to do that, it's going to take you to be able to attract people, to be able to enroll those people that you attract. And there is a transformation within yourself you will, your business will only grow as much as you do. So what we're going to do as we go through all of this is we're going to start rating yourself. So as we go through, I want you to rate each area, either three things. So you're going to be either red, which means completely stop or stuck in this area. Like this area is not working. Um, You feel stuck in this area. You are not clear in this area. You're going to mark yourself red. If you are are you doing green? If you're green, that's a high five. This area is working for you. Don't, you're not going to touch or fix this, but don't fix what's not broken. You <laughs> keep doing it. Okay, so green is a high five. You're good. Yellow is a, eh, you know that there needs to be an improvement. Yeah. In even green, it's like in phase two, right? We work on really with working with our clients. We work on really handing off the things that are green. So we want to get things to green, hire somebody and train them to then when they can do it and it's green. Yeah. So then it's off your plate. Yeah. Everybody cool to have people out there doing things that you don't like, you don't love. Like obviously everybody has their thing. What that, I love is you can find people who love what you don't what like. You don't love. love. Yes. Hello. I have Nicole here. I love you, Nicole. <laughs> That's and Eston, Eston, you are freaking incredible too. But that's how, yes, that's exactly it is. So the goal is to get green and then start building your team and getting them to green. Exactly. So, um, so what I wanted you to do is I want you to uh, measure yourself on your current messaging, and maybe you can just take a mental note. Like, did how well did we pr- improve on the messaging since day one? Just from day one. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'm curious on, 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 on if you guys feel like you jumped to color. Yeah, if you jumped to color, that'd be cool. So rate yourself um, in a green, uh, yellow, or red on impact messaging. Now, when you look at impact messaging, you're going to look at, um, you know, the like how clear is your is your messaging being effective i would say what anthony did that would be a green um especially if it lands a client 
Um, that is like nailed it. Now, what also is going to be is your niche. Are you, are, do you, is the niche that you're currently focused on the one that is your, you, you love, they can make the, you're making the hugest impact. You're, you love working with these people. You love, um, they have the money, they're showing up and they have the resources to pay you. Um, so that's, that's, uh, and then, and then you know where they are. You can, you can uh, reliably go back to the same place and find these people. So rate yourself in the chat. So if you want to uh, write in the chat, green, yellow, or red. Thanks. There's some energy in there. Is that what it is? Mm -hmm. It's it's weird those weird apple cinnamon ones like um Checked, yellow. actually work at us. Orange, yes. Haven't found where my people are hanging out yet. Mm. All as well. I like that orange. Orange always comes up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Tracked yellow. Uh anybody else playing? All right. So I know there's a yellow a bit cool. of thing. So we'll keep moving. So your community, you know, ultimately you want to start creating a community of some sort like so if you have you know you have the outcome you have your messaging it's creating a space where people are coming together around a common thing mm -hmm. right so if you want to rate yourself a lot of times you can have community but it's like oh i i don't even know what to post or i don't i don't know nothing about those or it's just been sitting there or maybe you're posting and it's not getting anything so that would be that would be a red yeah, ultimately you're looking at, you have a community, you have a place where your people, your ideal clients are going to come and they can engage. They, it's like all of your people are kind of all in one place. Uh, so that's like a minimal viable thing. Second thing is they're engaging. So uh, if you have an engaged group, but you're not getting clients from it, maybe you're a yellow. And if you have engagement and this like major, this uh, awesome community and you're getting clients from it, then that's a, uh, a green. High five, Carmen. Awesome. Um, then you got content. So being able to create, um, and this is kind of the same or similar thing. Um, so, and, and we look at the three different levels of content. There's your cold content that attracts people to you that have no clue who you are. Um, you have your warm content that does the nurturing and gets people, um, really handles the objections and gets them excited and really bought in on what you do. And then the hot content that gets people to actually raise their hand, like what we created yesterday, um, and get people to reach out. And so rate yourself there where you feel you like you're at. Oh, great job. Awesome. So Pan, I, I really want you to break down each individual area and not necessarily on the overall attracting or overall enrolling. So let's look at each one of the areas individually. When we get into the, the what do you call it? The fine tuning of it, it's where the power is because then we can look at the specific areas. So, so right now we're looking at content, is that? Yeah, so you're, you're starting off with impact messaging. Where would you say your, your messaging is in a uh, green, yellow, red situation? Green meaning that your messaging is super clear. It's speaking to your ideal client and it's attracting those people um, and it's, it's being effective and rolling clients. Um, and then uh, and then yellow would be like, maybe it's it's spotty. You, maybe you're not attracting your ideal clients or your quality, the quality of clients. Maybe you are um, not attracting a consistent flow of clients. It's it's in 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 um, inconsistent. Awesome. 
Cool. All right. Next is an evergreen. So like we said, you can attract all the people and it's not going to matter if the enrollment process has some kinks to it. So the evergreen signature program, what an ever sig evergreen signature program is, is it's a program that allows you to make a larger difference. So you can have more clients. It's not necessarily all group coaching. It doesn't have to be group coaching, uh, but it has a way that doesn't burn you out and it gives a transformation for them. And it's an evergreen. So it's always running. It doesn't matter if it's Monday, the 16th or Thursday, the first, I don't know, <laughs> whatever date it is, it doesn't matter. People are, can just always come in, they can join and no one feels like they're a number, they're lost. So it's a very strategically set up program. That's not going to burn you out and still makes a difference with people. Awesome Pam. Yeah. So it's like, you want to rate yourself. So if you are um, red would be like, you are doing all one-on-one -on -one per session coaching or, or healing or whatever you got going on. Um, that because it's like, you're trading your time for dollars. They're not committed for a long period of time. The, the, you might get amazing results through a session, but not, it's never going to be the same if you work with somebody on a long term. I have a basis. meme. If I could show a meme, I like, if I knew you were going to say that, I would have this meme ready. Huh. But it's a mailbox, like an apartment mailbox. And there's a big, huge envelope, like trying to shove in your healing, like your trauma <laughs> healing in one healing session. Like it doesn't work that way. So. Yeah. And it's like a one per session it is it actually can hurt your client. And this is why, because you take the pain out of the situation. Um, you make it feel better. You're like putting a Band-Aid on a bleeding neck. So somebody's life is in hot mass ruins, right? And you help them feel better for this session. And then they go, oh, I feel so much better. I don't need any more of this. Yay. Yay. Let's go on with my life. <laughs> and then they they go run and go do back to their like you know garbage or um dumpster fire of a life and so where your program a long-term committed program that actually makes a difference for people on a long-term basis is is the purpose is to help them, well, in your marketing, discover that their uh, their dumpster fire is on, uh, that it's happening. And then you are getting them to commit to fully put out the dumpster and maybe actually turn it into a nice studio apartment. Um, so... <laughs> That's good. That's good. Um, so, and then, so yeah, so, so that would be a red situation. Yellow is like, you're, you're doing one-on-one, -on -one, uh, coaching or one-on-one -on -one sessions, but they're committed for a longer period of time, or maybe you're selling like a, a course situation, or maybe it's a group, but there's no course. All of those really, it's like red or excuse me, green is all of them. Let's use all of it. Maybe there is some one-on-one. -on -one. Maybe there is a course aspect. Maybe there is some group. Maybe there is uh, breath work. Maybe there is Reiki built in. And maybe there's all of these things that actually make it exponentially valuable more than, because this is the thing. If you sell somebody, uh, even if you sell somebody a package of one-on-ones, right? And, and they're like, okay, it's... 12 it's three thousand dollars for three months it's 12 sessions you're charging me six hundred dollars an hour i don't make a hundred i don't even make fifty dollars or a hundred dollars an hour like how are you getting away with charging me six hundred dollars an hour because they can literally do the math of like you're charging me this much an hour and so they can literally uh comprehend or, or like do the math and go oh this is this is a lot, but when you have an exponential and you're actually solving a specific problem for somebody, then they will pay whatever amount. Is it like the plumber? Yeah. Oh yeah. There's, there's actually a really good now. Thank you. Yeah. Um, so there's a, a, a plumber, right? And this guy calls a plumber and he says, my basement is flooding. Um, I don't know what's going on. Um, come out right now and he's like hey man like i can fix this problem with you over the phone all like in in five minutes 
but if I if if I if I come over there, I'm going to charge you sixty five dollars for the um, just to show up, and I charge uh, a like sixty dollars an hour for at least one hour, minimum. So the guy he he's like, no, I need you to come over, and he walks in the house. The guy that has the 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 um, the invoice. And he's like filling it out as he's walking down to the basement. He like hands it to the guy to sign and he goes uh, and he walks over to the thing. He goes and he spits like like blows in this pipe It knocks out a bunch of crap and puts it back on hands. the, The guy is like, all right, sign it. And then like picks up his money and walks out and took him less than five minutes. And essentially, because you're solving a problem, he solved a problem. So he gets paid exponentially amount. Everybody, not everybody here, but a lot of you are are attempting to um, pay or charge for the service and not charge for a result. Mm -hmm. So hopefully that was valuable. Um, So rate yourself. Uh, Red, you're doing all per hour or per session uh, coaching um yellow is you're you're doing maybe longer stuff or you're doing um you're but you're still doing one-on-one or you're doing straight group or coursework or whatever and green is it's like you have a signature program you they have coursework to go through you support them in a group and maybe there's one-on-one or maybe there's not you get to choose Yellow, awesome. Yellow to green, high five. Sweet. Um, All right, so this next piece, we call it the empowered client pathway. The empowered client pathway is the pathway from ultimately people not knowing who you are to becoming clients, right? So there's a certain thing we call it, it's like a invisible funnel, if you will. You don't need a bunch of tech. You don't need websites. You don't need any of that stuff, but you do need a process and you do need a strategy that brings people down a line to the next step, Mm -hmm. right? So that line and that step-by-step process is the empowered client attraction process. Ignore that like random three letters. I was, I was going to ask, and then I was like, "Hmm." I was going to write tractor. That's what I was going to know. Um, okay. Uh, all right. So the empower client attraction pathway is really the way that you take people from your content, right? And they, you have an engager, somebody that engages in the content and being able to take them to a connection, make a connection, and then actually be able to take the connection to a qualification process, which is And then also to be able to book a call and then getting them to actually sell you instead of you selling them. Um, So it it sets you up as like you're well positioned in the in the whole thing instead of a lot of what a lot of people do is they do one of two things. They um, well, here I can do a a fun little uh, drawing over here. Give chat a reason to draw. (laughs) Yes, it's it's funny is is I've. um, not only had to learn how to do it on a trackpad, which is super interesting, but, oh wait, this it totally feels like my left hand. It's not my left hand. Why does it feel like my left hand? Because it's on a trackpad and it's awkward? Yes, okay, yeah. that's why it feels like it. <laughs> so a lot of people, what they're doing is they're- This isn't necessarily you and I love your drawings. Thanks. Yep. <laughs> so- what you see is who know who's seen the coach or the person out there that's constantly pitching an offer. They're like, oh, I have my my eight month container launching Thursday. I'm doing uh, I have three sessions available for the next five people right now. Um, I'm doing this uh, workshop like they're constantly selling something. So they, they're, this is an offer, right? They're just dropping the offer on people's heads and there's no nurturing. There's no like I got an email from someone that I had never I don't even know how I got on her list, but the, it was a mystery offer for like ten thousand dollars. And there was no sales page. It was literally just a form saying, here's my mystery offer and a sales form for $10,000. What the fuck? I, I don't, yeah, I don't, <laughs> I don't know. 
Wow. I, I, maybe that works for some people. I literally don't get it. But anyways. I don't either. But this is the thing. Where do they get the people that are like coming to this, this shit show that, I don't know. Anyways. So this is what happened. Like those people exist and they, they, but they, I don't, nobody wants to like be around them or like actually, <laughs> well, even if you knew them, would you, I don't know. That's like I, the. That reminds yeah, I don't even know if I knew him if I would buy a mystery offer, but that's a whole different conversation. Well, you know what the funny thing is? that reminds me of the Family Guy episode where he's like, they're like, um, they could win a boat or they could win they could win the mystery box. <laughs> you mean and, the mystery box? and he's like, he's like, there could be anything in the mystery box. It, it could be even a boat. <laughs> Anyways, yes. so so this is the other. Uh, uh, form of people. And this is a value. These circles are like value posts or uh, memes, right? They're just like throwing out memes, right? Uh, valuable memes, or they're pulling out this, the, it could even be heartfelt, amazing stuff, could be amazing content, but they never lead anybody anywhere. And they just keep on doing the value. They're doing value, 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 and they never make an offer. They never even bring you anywhere. They don't even, uh, there's no, there's no actual moving people along anywhere, right? And neither of these really work as well as they could, right? Because they don't have a system. There's no process. But what does work is if you do something of value and then you invite somebody to something more, that's more valuable and goes more in depth around uh, like around the same topic or in it, but goes deeper, right? Then invites them to maybe have a conversation to see if it's a good fit, to see if they're, you know, which, and, and see if, if they can support you, which is really valuable. I had one time um, a conversation with somebody on Facebook and in the middle of my me qualifying her to see if she's a good fit for my program, she goes, oh my God, I got it. Like, I just realized what I'm doing wrong in my business. She said wrong. I, I, I wouldn't say it's wrong. It just wasn't working, right? And she's like, thank you so much. I, I don't think I even need what you guys are offering now because I got it. Like they just had this awareness. I'm like, Clarity is powerful. wow, you holy cow. Okay. People get clear. That's, that's powerful. exactly. And then you can invite them after they're qualified and they like really showed you that they are a good fit for your program. Then you can make, then you make the offer and you're not pitching. So one of our mentors, he said like, thou shall not pitch in public. And, and I've like lived by this, for like, like, and it's worked amazing for us is like, is like really making offers where people are asking you for the offer. They're like demanding it. We don't make, we don't like sell anybody anything until unless you bought uh, VIP. Um, but still nothing of anything like uh, uh like, below a certain range. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nothing Small too big, right? No, no bigger offers. Um, until somebody's telling me, I want to see the freaking offer, show me the offer. And um, so that's the thing. It, it, and you need the system, you need the process. How do you create this this synergy of this is a something of value, which could be a converse, like a um uh, a would connection. You, I was say, would that be a post? It could be. Could it be um, a live that you did? Maybe? Could it be. Or a short or a real. Short, real. And then bringing them to like a, uh, a group or a workshop. Or a group, mm -hmm. group workshop kind of thing. And then give them maybe see what their problems and challenges are. If you have a training around that, that could help them around what it is that they got going on. Yep. Then qualifying them. And, and yep. And then, and then. So if you see, it's like, it's a, a step by step, but it almost seems like, oh, well, can I just offer already? But it's taking this time 
that it's like people don't feel rushed, they don't feel pressured, and you're giving value back to them, and there's an open invitation. Yeah, who who would like to have people selling you that they want what you're offering? Like they're telling you you want it, and they're the ones that like are pitching you. Like, just tell me what this is by like now. Like, I, I really want to know. Tell me about the price. How much is this? Like, how can I get this started? And they're like demanding it from you instead of you selling them. And it like feels good on your part because you're just giving them what they want. Cool. Just remember that when we get towards them. Um, <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to erase this. Um, is it, Oh, then there's one other one that um, this is, uh, we'll, actually, we'll get into this in a second. I'm going to write over. And then kind of, you want to rate themselves on the Empowered Client Pathway? Yeah. Why don't you, oh yeah, yeah. Rate yourself on the Empowered Client Attraction Pathway. Are you uh, read, like you basically are either contenting people to death you or you're offering people to death, nothing wrong. Um, and or the third option is you're doing nothing, right? You're literally doing uh, nothing freeze. in the sense of, yeah, it's like the freezer fawn. It's like uh, offer. Fight, freeze, fawn, or friend. <laughs> yes. They just, you friend zone everyone yeah. <laughs> or they friend zone you. There's nothing wrong. It's just being aware of I know. trauma responses. <laughs> Indeed. So, so rate yourself on the, um, you know, red, uh, yellow, green. Forgot colors for a second there. Need more consistency. Yeah. Cool. Um, so someone asked how often, is it CC, I believe, asked how often um, would you spread this out between creating offers and content and having the hot post? uh I have my why don't you answer and i'll um so i think the 80 20 yeah, rule applies okay. great here that it's uh if you can think like 20 percent making offers 80 percent sharing stories value overcoming objections sharing your heart and soul and your mission out for the world mm -hmm. then that 20 percent like people will pay more attention to that 20 percent so yeah, you know if that answers maybe that that could be once a week. Um, yeah, once a week, week in in like your group and your um, group list and uh, personal profile, and um, yeah, it's a good place to be. Yeah. All right, group success. This is um, a way of who's ever been to a coaching program or been to a coaching thing where you, you basically raise your hand or you put yourself on a, uh, a list, um, once a week offer, um, you put yourself on a list to like ask a question and basically all the coach did was at, like, basically, uh, answer people's questions and then just move on to the next one. And just answer the question and move on to the next one. And nobody felt like they were a part of the group. They might as well have been sitting in a dark room by themselves or at a meat counter waiting in line for their uh, salon. Hey, coaching. Yes. Um, yes. So that is red for us. So red is uh, people feel like a number. They don't feel like they're getting a unique experience. Um, they, maybe you're not delivering on your word, like they're not getting results and you're not delivering on your word. Yeah. I think that's another part of group success is not only making sure people don't feel like a number and that you're not doing the deli coaching, but you're actually delivering on the promise outcome that they're giving you their money for. Yeah. Because there is a lot of people that are out there that, um, it's like the, it's like a, a great community. I love the, like the people are great, but like, if you're not delivering on the, or they're not delivering on the specific results that people came for, like that's, you know, that, that would be a, uh, a, 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 you could be a yellow situation. could be a, a red situation, depending on if you're also, they're not, you're feeling like a number too. So um, so rate yourself on the red, yellow, and green is like 
everybody is brought in. It feels like a uh, everybody's connected and uh, everybody's getting amazing results. And it, and it's like, you're not having to spend, I guess that's another way is looking at it. It's like, you're not having to spend a ton of one-on-one -on -one with every every person. There you go. Okay. So it's like everyone is in momentum. Yeah. And not everybody's always going to be in momentum. There's people that are just unwilling to do the work sure. and, but, but you want like a really low percentage of those people and like being able to actually move people that are not taking action, doing the work into taking work. So cool. And I'd say green too, you're getting referrals and resigns. Mm -hmm. All right. So the one, two, threes, um, this is so powerful because it turns every all of this and all, like all of this into a step by step plan to do every day. Speaking of momentum. Yes, the it's really getting you into momentum when you can know what to do on a daily basis and how much to do of of it that's going to get you consistent results, then all of this gets put together for you right? It's, it's this, it's, um, you know, we talk a lot about, uh, what we do. Actually, we had a couple, we had one client said that we are like, um, uh, it's like Ikea. We, uh, or a lot of coaching programs are like Ikea. They give you a bunch of information and you now have to take it home and try to put it all together. Um, anybody feel like that? Like, the one, two, threes is the putting it all together and making it all, all the information from all over here and making it all work like seamlessly together. And, and it's like baking the cake too. It's like knowing the ingredients, how many ingredients to put in. Um, the other, we had another client say that uh, it's like, uh, you know, he had alphabet soup. And we actually were able to make a full word for him. Yeah. By so, so your daily one, two, threes, these are the things that you do every single day that are bringing you in income. So what are your income producing activities that are aligned to you that day in and day out, like this is what needs to be done because a big part of this is consistency and doing the things and showing up, right? So knowing exactly what you need to do, what you need to put your focus on and how will keep you in momentum. Mm -hmm. I found that momentum can be created at any time that you want it. And the biggest thing to turn momentum on is to have a like, boom, boom, boom. This is the plan. This is what we need to be doing on a basis. Let's go. Yep. So rate yourself on a red. You have no plan, no system, no like day by day thing that's like keeping you kind of moving. Um, yellow is like, maybe you have some things that you're doing here and there, but maybe you don't ha quite have the numbers down or it's not like a cohesive machine. Um, and then red or excuse me, yellow or green is like, you have a very clear process like this. I do this much content this day. I do, um, I do this many posts here. I do this many of this here. And it 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 all flows together. Yeah, got it, Larry. Um, then we're gonna look at blind spots slash um, alignment. All right, so one of the things we wanna look at is how many things are stopping you on a regular basis, right? You know, we'll just throw out some things. So there's like fears of showing, you know, fears showing, showing up. Fears of being successful. Fears of charging a bunch of money. Fears of letting people down or looking bad. Um, um, like a self-sabotage of like not being consistent. Like I, you show up consistently and you do some things and you get results and then you're like, 
whoa, 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 whoa. And you like put your foot on the brake or the other side of it is is like, it's like you take a bunch of action, you get a bunch of results and you're like, whoa, success. Uh, I don't know if I really want all this success. And then you just like slow it on down. Or I don't know how to handle all of this. I've never been worthy of any of this before. Fear of losing relationships, um, like money blocks, um, stuff that's like, just like un uh, un what do you call it? Um, unhealthy relationships with money. Maybe you get a bunch of money and then you spend it all. Um, or anything else that's coming up to you? Well, so I saw this meme earlier that is like when you're working in alignment um, or work, like working in your business in alignment, it's like you're rowing with the flow, hmm. but uh, working with emotional trauma and blocks, like it was someone who was like, pedaling backwards like on the boat uh-huh. and it's kind of like that's exactly what happens is we can be pedal like moving forward in our business doing the things but if we have these emotional blocks and these traumas and these triggers and these things it's like actually moving the boat backwards so it feels mm-hmm. like we have to do more work here but it's it's causing a resistance that we're not actually moving forward with anything. It can be a really frustrating place to, again to be at. And then that frustration can start looping around too. So um, that's what came up for me. Yeah. So those are the things like, what are those patterns? How, do, how can, what do we need to do to stop those patterns? Maybe go through, clear some out. We do some neuro- neurosomatic work, um, some soma breath, some rewiring. And then also this alignment piece is every single one of us, we're here with different gifts. Each one of us is different. Each one of us moves different. We work different. We have things that we bring to the world. We have natural healers on here. We have natural speakers on here. We have you know, people who are just so energetically sensitive and just this wisdom about them. Like there's, there's, everyone has these different gifts. And when you work within your gifts and you're aware and you highlight your gifts, then your life becomes a lot more fulfilled and you can do things in a way that is fun and is fulfilling for you. And it works better. I can't read all of that, but so that's another, I'm going to read it in a minute, in a Uh minute. Um, But that's another place is so having, having tools to be able to remove some of these things when it feels like you're pedaling backwards and forwards at the same time. And discovering them too, because it's like, it's, it's, it's one thing to, if you already know them and we can help you. So we actually help you clear blocks on three levels. Um, you know, Holly does a lot of the, the energetics and the alignment work, but it's also a clearing where- um, well, if, I also do neurosomatic therapy and clearing and right so start from the top uh, (laughs) the the energetic level so the 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 energetic level and like really clearing out past life stuff and um and uh generational curses and all that type of stuff but then we we've actually developed a um emotional and belief uh clearing methodology and um and modality that we help clear out uh, those things on a 4D level. And then Holly is also uh, a somatic therapist and does the the breath work and like, and really it's more than breath work, but it's like, you guys saw it on day two. So that just that's just a taste of it. So neurosomatic, we actually go down to the root and we get the root, we, we rewire and literally kind of pull it out. So there's a lot of things that I don't even think you know to do, but, or like what I do well, in that's the what, sessions, yeah. <laughs> but I'm just sitting here and I'm just, I'm loving hearing you explain my work. It's, I just love it. Cool. Um, yeah. So it's, it's healing at a multi multi-dimensional level, right? It's clearing the things energetically that are holding you back. It's rewiring at a subconscious level. And it's what are those things that are held in your body that we can start releasing in our bodies and taking physical actions out in the world to start reprogramming those patterns and making new. And then making sure that this is all aligned to you, because it's like, like, it'd be really easy. Like we can just give you a business here's a business and go do this this and this but if it's not in alignment to you like it's not gonna be effective we've had several clients that um before we really got into the alignment work is just like we we give you all the things like i don't know why it's not working for you or they like when you know like it wouldn't happen and it's like and then when we realized all this alignment stuff like oh okay this person is more 
this way and this methodology or this thing wouldn't necessarily work for them. And so we get to work through those and, and, and tweak our processes to fit in your alignment. So then we're actually working with how you work at a soul level instead of just like jamming, uh, you know, things down your throat. Yeah. So, um, cool. Uh, so rate yourself uh, on a red being like completely blocked, have no like, like you're not like moving forward. Things are just like going backwards. And yellow is, um, you know, you, you, you take, you hit some walls, maybe you're, you, it knocks you down for a little bit. And then like, you kind of, there's some mulling and then like, maybe that you, you lose some momentum and then like you get back going eventually and like it gets going and then you're, you're good. And then you know, green is like, like, it's like, bam, like let's, we're just rolling like through blocks and just there's there's nothing like stopping you or, or maybe it stops you for a, a minute or a day and then you're like all right I'm, I'm good let's let's roll cool Red. got it um so then you got um absolutely definitely definitely so this last piece here is leverage, right? You're starting to build your machine, so to speak. You're building, when I say machine, you don't need a lot of text. So don't let that word mess you up. Machine is really systems. So you're putting your systems together. It's time to start leveraging yourself. How can you start saving time? So this could be, you know, you have your calendar link, Maybe you have like a whole booking series. So after they book, you could even be like, here's a training for you to watch before our call. It could be, um, oh my gosh, why did I just, it, it could be like your lead magnets. It, it could be leveraged at like leveraged assets, really. You start building like this library of leveraged assets for you to use. You start building a team for you and start working on how you can start leveraging your time and stop trading your time for money. Awesome. Did I miss anything? No, that's good. So it's like really just taking all of these things and start handing off the things that are not your zone of genius or are your zone of genius. And, but it allows you to focus working on the business instead of in the business. Yes. Um, so if you're fully in the business and you have no automations or systems, you're uh, red. Yellow is, um, excuse me, you, maybe you have maybe a, a, some lead magnets, maybe you have a calendar link, maybe you have a, a VA, maybe you have, um, you know, uh, maybe you're doing it, maybe you have an autoresponder where you set, you can send out emails. And then uh, green is like, you have a team that you manage and, 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 and they're, they have their task and maybe they're taking a lot of the things off your plate. And, and they can really, and you're really um, focusing most of your time on running the business instead of, uh, or yeah, running the business, being the visionary, being the, like in your zone of, zone of genius and, um, and, and, and running things that way. Um, cool. Awesome. So we got some, uh, we, so is this eye-opening for everyone? Are you guys like holy crap like you're seeing some reds you're seeing some yellows you're seeing some greens awesome so now ultimately like the goal is all green right yeah. and then to get a get a team and get them to green mm -hmm. so now that you see these areas where you're yellow and where you're red like these are your areas mm -hmm. this is your focus what do you need to do to get this part to green right so we want to actually, do you want to have go through this part? Yeah. So it's like, I guess who, who wants to get to green? Green baby. Yeah. Are some people okay with not green. All right. So, so my, what I want to throw out there is an opportunity for us to actually support you to get to green. So it's it's working through all of the areas and really like like getting to green, not only just to green, but adding that extra five to 100K or 100K in the next 90 days 
and really create that empowered client attraction pathway, that tr attraction, and really that enrollment, create that, that program and offer with you and really just set up all of this and get the green. You want Kelly green. There you go. <laughs> That's some serious green. <laughs> She was, and and I, I actually think that there were some areas that she probably wasn't uh, green uh, because she didn't quite have the full team down. Um, so, but it's really taking a look at like, like having that messaging that really is landing for those clients and, and attracting them in and really getting super clear on that niche. And then having that community where you're having this nurture pool that, that you're building this relationship and showing you this process of walking people through and having that content that's, that stands out, that gets people to take action and gets them excited about a future that is could be amazing for them, right? And and really like taking on this like new life. And so, and really creating this program that's gonna transform so many people's lives and make this difference in 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 so many people. And, and that's not gonna take up all your time. And it's going to really make this difference with people. And then really being able to, um, you know, have the system down that's taking people from the content and having them qualified where they're selling you instead of you selling them. And being able to really have this group success where everybody is freaking, um, you know, getting amazing results and showing up and excited about making like this transformation. And then having the system down where it's, you know, you have every day, you know what you're going to be doing, you know, the things that are going to move the needle, you know, the things that are going to get you the results that are going to get the people to engage the people that to get your message out there the people to get the people on the calls and, and really enroll those clients and getting the things out of the way so that you actually do the things that you know that you need to be doing. <laughs> yeah, because if you have all these blind spots in the way, and I realize I didn't have a D, we're missing the D. Um, <laughs> and so, so if you're, it's like, if you have all these blind spots and things in the way, uh, you're not going to take the action on the content or, or I, I build the community or build the program or do any of this. Right. And it's like, if it's not in alignment, you can make it. And then it's not going to, you're not going to actually put it out there. So um, if you want support getting to green and really getting the results that you're out for and making this impact and, and, and having the freedom and making the money so you can make that contribution you're here for, like, let's go. So, um, yeah, go ahead, book a call, VIP. Um, uh, if somebody wants to drop the VIP, if you want to stick around for another half an hour and we can work through everything with the VIP people. Take some of your reds to VIP. Yeah, take your reds to VIP. Um, thank you. All right, awesome. Awesome. Well, let's get you to Kelly Green. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think that's gonna be a new. I'm I'm just gonna call it Kelly Green from now on. Kelly, Green. I love that. I imagine that to be such a beautiful, crisp color when I hear it. I'm like, ooh, Kelly Green. I like it. She what definitely has, has has a rock in business. Yeah. Um, oh, guys, this has been such a blessing to be here with you. Thank you so much. I do not take it lightly that you guys have taken four days and time from your busy schedule and what it is that you're out to the world. And I hope that you genuinely got something that you can use to go out there and make a difference. Uh, I would love to have a conversation with you, see how we can help you further in this journey. Um, we appreciate you. and. Go ahead and book that call if you're VIP. See you in five minutes. And let's go out there and rock it and be the contribution that we were made for. Jeopardy music playing now. <laughs>